So obviously it's a muffin kind of day this morning on Copper Joe. Inside Moy's Gluten Free Kitchen, Joelle, she's doing muffins. I'm planning to do muffins a little later. And Moy also Joelle, do... those are not muffins. These are just, not muffins. Just, just because they are made in a liner does not mean that they're muffins. I suppose you could call them muffin type things but they're not <laughs> muffin type things they're not muffins i, I thought just gluten-free muffins no i just happen to pack it like this because this is nice and easy to carry around and i'm thinking snack i'm thinking not to get your hands dirty that's what this is but to start in the first place this is this this is not even looking like the original thing this is a hack of what the original thing is you're confusing me okay what is it <laughs> okay, so so let's start from the beginning. Have you ever heard of pakoras? A pakora? Pakora. P a k o r a. Pakora. That's something to eat. Something to eat. <laughs> what is a pakora, Moy? Generally, what happens is with a pakora, you take whatever veggie you have on hand. It could be carrots. It could be um, pumpkin. Pumpkin, yes. Um, a lot of times you taste something like cauliflower, right. something a little hardier, yeah, a little yeah. hardier. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, you can use um, potatoes, whatever it is. Basically, what you're doing with the pakora is you're taking the veggie and you're creating a nice batter, a lovely batter. You dip it in the batter and you fry it. Okay. This looks nothing like that. So it's, it's an Indian dish. It's, it's an, an Indian, Indian delicacy. Inspired. Yeah, it's an yeah. Indian inspired delicacy. Right. Pakora. Pakora. It's coming, I, it's coming here. It's like I've heard about it before. Yeah, there yeah, are yeah. actually a few restaurants. At least I've heard of one somewhere on the avenue that yeah. does a pakora. Okay. A pakora type dish. Okay. And there are different kinds. But it's have, fried. It's usually fried. So, so our presentation, first of all, is different. And as I said, this is a hack from what the you are normal... hacking people thing? Of course we are. <laughs> I mean, is there any <laughs> doubt that I would? In the first place, I'm doing it gluten-free. And in the second place, yes, I, I'm doing a hack. I mean, as my dear friend Natalie, who appears on the show, will tell you, we don't do mainstream. We don't. We do things for people who want, yes, they want to be healthier, but it's also quick, it's easy, it's tasty. And we tend not to do a lot of frying. So today we're doing pakora in a muffin style, baked. Yeah, What's hack important? It, you whack it, you do all kinds of things to the people And it's pakora. still going to taste <laughs> really, really good. Okay, so it's not a muffin, it's a baked. It's a, a baked pakora. pakora. So Jesus the essential Lord. elements, we're going to put this back, yes. you'll get to taste it, I, I will, okay. would be that you have to have some kind of batter, which we're going to get to, yeah. and you must have veggies. Today, I, I use a lot of carrots in it. There were some pimentos, some onion, garlic, and so on. And because I just find, yes, of course, you could go and cut it up like you normally would. Yeah. You could also just put it in this lovely <laughs> processor. Pr and this is one of those fancy mix chopper things. If you wish to call yeah. it that, certainly. Uh, this is what I want, but these things, I mean, are very much... I suppose you can cut down a lot of time yes. on your cutting board. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. If not, you know, a lot more of us have it than you know, you know? <laughs> sometimes, so, it, sometimes it's there and you, you, don't, you don't use it. Right, but you should because it's easy. So, yeah. And, and all of that went in here. All of that went in there. And you know, we have it right here in Copa Joe Kitchen and I didn't even recognize. Yes. And all in shopquartz.com. And you will get it. Shopquartz.com and, and, and you can get, you can get, you can get the, you. This, the supplier. It's a, it's a, it's a chopper-like thing. That's what it's It's called? a full chopper. And I am <laughs> telling you personally, that's not very expensive. Yeah. That's not expensive at all. It saves you great time. I have bought it. I have also bought it at Quartz, and it's not expensive at all. Shopquartz.com. And right? all, all, all Moy's veggies are ready to go. All the veggies are ready to go. Now, Let's you go. need to... Oh, you need these veggies? Yes, my right. dear. So... <laughs> you need these veggies. So inside... This could come out, huh? Right. Yeah. This could come out like that. Yeah, yeah. So hold on. Let me, let me put it here for you. One second. So inside of our mixing bowl, what mm. we have, we have... Chana besan. Basically, it's chana flour. You can make flour out of anything. Of course you can. And wow. chana flour is gluten-free. Right. Um, in the regular stores, they will call it garbanzo bean flour. Right. Some people, as I said, would call it chana besan. Yeah. But basically, you're looking at chana flour, not mm. the ground chana. You want it a little bit dry like mm. this. Mm. I've seasoned this up with a little bit of saffron powder. Of course, I need to put a little bit of... Um, um, cayenne pepper, or you can put nice whole pepper if you want, mm. a little bit of garam masala, 
some baking powder, baking soda, and then you just want to make sure and mix that in so that the whole mixture is all homogenous. You don't want to see lumps of anything right, around. Right. A little bit of salt to flavor. Yeah, you get you get a nice Indian and flavor. Are you smelling there. it? Yeah, I'm You're smelling it, it, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds you. Know what this reminds you of? A little bit of a kachori, right. but kachori is a little has a lot more texture because the chana is not as ground as this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now what you can do is you're adding. You're gonna take out the blade, that, of course. That, come, that comes out as well. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you're gonna add in, according oh. to the recipe instructions. Well, let's say about two thirds of that. You're not gonna die if you are. Okay, maybe. You want another third? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to just mix that in. Okay. You're gonna make sure it's nice and covered with the flour. It's all tossed nicely. Right. Nice. And then just to finish that, we just. Oh, this smells already. It's. it's, it's, the, it's Yum, you can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to add, I am adding just a little bit of vinegar because I, I like to get that little crisp on top. Okay. So just a tiny bit of vinegar in here. I'm always so free to use vinegar sometimes. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it's, no, yeah. It's, it's lovely. And then you see it starts to bubble because yeah. you're having the leavening agents working with it and then some water. Now, the recipe tells you how much water to use, huh? but you see we're free freewheeling free in here wheeling. a little bit. But do check the recipe on moisglutenfreekitchen.com or on trinicooks.com. <laughs> And that's it. Um, yeah. And we've made a batter. Look at that. You could have taken this. This was the same and kind of batter. It's some wonderful oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I missed the purpose of this whole <laughs> but, that, but that's what you would normally do. That's what you would normally that do. Normally that, is a, that is a regular pakora. But inside Moy's Gluten Free Kitchen, she's hacked what is a pakora. What's a pakora? And so you basically put this in all. Oh, right, which, yeah. Which, which you can, you you can have, spoon it out. You can spoon it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead. You can put you it down. You want me to spoon it? Yeah, yes. I mean, you I want me to make a mess? Light, yes. light stuff today. Just spoon it in. Just spoon it in. Yeah, just spoon that in. And it already looks like it's fluffy and bubbling yeah, up does, and all it of does, that. It does, does. does uh, And it smells, it smells great. great. Mm -hmm. Just that bit of seasoning. And think about how nice this is to serve. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. One had to give trouble. <laughs> so, so my... I mean, it, this would also cut down, I suppose, because, I mean, if you fry it, right. you're talking calories, you're talking, you right. know, help yes. me, boy, please. Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> ooh, and, oh, I did not know this would be such a difficult task. And garbanzo bean itself is full of protein. So you are making something that's gluten-free and healthier. Let's, you, let's pause a minute. We you gave finish. me this to do. I didn't recognize it was going to be such a... Yeah. No, you come on. I How thought, long are you in this kitchen with me? I thought, ooh, surely <laughs> this was easy for you. But you know, okay, so, so we put it together right. um, nicely, and then you put simply put this to bake about 12 minutes, and that's, and that's it. it. And, and now you, you can take your muffin. Take your muffin. It's uh, not I, a thought muffin. I thought we were both doing muffins today. No, I'm take, doing your, a take, muffin. take your muffin, Pakura, and uh, taste it. So, what's the We have some what's... chutney, we have some tam and chutney, and we have some lovely homemade um, achar. So. Panchar. This is. This is Kuchula, I'm sorry. Kuchula. We have this ch is... Chutney ch and Kuchula. So please, by the way. Okay, so yes, yes, peel off the... Um, I, I will, I will. I, 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 won't, I wasn't going to... Do that. Yeah, yeah. Was, I, just, yeah. oh, I wasn't goodness. sure. I right. wasn't sure. And, and give that a taste. Nice, huh? Wow, well, my... Lovely. And you, you're not missing the fact that it's fried, mm -hmm. are you? And it's tasty. all the flavors, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're getting, you're getting the Indian spices coming through, right? And you've got well, all your veggies. And if you want it, you put whatever veggies you want. Of course, if you decide to put a veggie like what you said, pumpkin, you know, that's a little bit wet, you may yeah. not have to put any you want kind a dry, of water. stand up type well, vegetable, or just don't put water, so yeah, okay, right? Or put yeah, more yeah. veggies because what... the pumpkin will have water in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. So you can, you can use whatever veggies you have in stock, whatever veggies right. you have, mm -hmm. and you do your pakora. If you really want to fry, go ahead and fry it. It's a great way to get people who are veggie resistant to eat it, right. and otherwise. It just tastes good. It's a nice snack. It's, it's a nice, nice yeah. yeah. It's and it's, it's, it's gluten free, it's vegetarian, it's vegan. I mean, really healthy and protein. It kind of knocking off a lot of stuff there. Yeah, so. good hack thing. <laughs> it's a good hack thing. Yeah. <laughs> Moise Gluten Free Kitchen, this morning, she pulled out of her hat a gluten free pakora. Pakora. A gluten free pakora. Get your recipe on trainingcooks.com or please check Moise's website, moisegluteneefreekitchen.com. I will have one more bite of pakora. And then I'm going to use some, do some muffin-like things as well. Right. You do your muffins. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nice. Yeah, I get all excited of you do both your doing muffins. muffins. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Moylan. Moylan Lovell every Thursday here on the show, rolling out a gluten-free recipe.
deglutinize and transmigo one recipe at a time. We're coming back. Trini Cook's Thursday here on a couple of jokes.